Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome back to our free mini course on making Divi responsive. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at alignment. So there's actually a lot of good use cases for aligning items differently on desktop, tablet, and phone. In fact, some of these I use a lot. So let's get started. Let's learn how to do this and let's check some of these examples out. Okay, so the first type of alignment setting we're gonna look at is text alignment. There are a lot of text alignment options actually and um, probably more than you realize and we're only going to cover about half of them, believe it or not. Each module has its own unique need for text alignment. So we're gonna look at the most common ones. Okay, so let's go into a text module, show you a couple in the design tab under text you'll see text alignment. So you have left align, center, right align, and justified. So we could change that per device. Let's say we have it left here. But then on our phone, we want this to look, um, you know, I don't know, more streamlined in the middle. So we center it like that, okay? So then you switch back. So that's something you can do as you're optimizing your site. Um, another tab that's here in the text module is heading text, and we have the exact same settings for H1 through H6. Also, anytime you have body text, you're gonna have the same option. So in the blurb, for example, we have body text. So if you were in here, you'll see a new option for body text and you'll have those same options. Now, what I wanna show you here um, is another set that you know shows up pretty much everywhere and that's these different tabs here. So you could set the text like I showed you, there's different devices, have it, you know, left, right, or center, but then for links as well. So if you wanted to just style your links a certain way, which of course you should, you know, links should contrast your text according to, you know, accessibility and all that. But anyway, you could change these um, alignment for your lists, your bullets, even your block quotes, okay? So again, there's a lot of settings that appear depending on what you're using, but if there's body text, you get all of these extra ones and you have fine-tuned control over any device alignment. Another quick example of options that appear depending on the module. If you were in a gallery, you would get the caption text. Again, you could align that a certain way. All right, so another one would be just in your blog so if you were in the blog and you had um you have another tab for meta okay so let's say we want to align our meta centered you can do that and there's a couple more examples if you had a contact form um, you would have a toggle here for fields and you could actually uh, align this separately like let's say you wanted to on phone align it center or something like that all right, so let's shift focus here and look at another alignment feature, and that's just the module alignment feature. So this is when you need to align the whole module or, or an element in the module and not just text. So you can find these settings in you know certain things here, and you can find these settings in certain modules. It's not gonna be in all of them because it's, it doesn't apply to all of them. Okay, so here I've added a button. A button module is a good example, one where the entire thing gets aligned. So in the design tab, you'll see alignment. So you can change this based on device. Now I use this one a lot. So a lot of times I'll have it left here on desktop and then, you know, for other devices, I usually want it to be centered. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good on mobile to be off to the side. Go ahead and center that. So that's one that I use a lot. Another one is just an image module. So you actually have alignment here again in the image module. And that's, you know, if, depending on what you were doing, this would be really good if you have it aligned over here again and then center on phone. There's also some handy alignment in the blurb. So if I'm in the blurb module and I'm under the image and the icon, you'll see here that we have icon alignment. See that? So you can align icons um, or the image depending what you're using and then one more the social media follow you can align the entire module left right or center and I actually use this one a lot as well so again a lot of times on desktop I'll have it aligned one way or another 
Sometimes I'll put it in the bottom right corner of my footer and I'll have it aligned like that. And then on the tablet and phone, I'll have it center. Okay, so let's look at one more. And this is in the rows. So we haven't talked a whole lot about sections and rows and that's because a lot of the settings are the same. So if I'm in a row and I'm in here and let's say um, I'm under the sizing toggle. So another one is rows and we haven't talked a whole lot about rows because sections and rows have similar settings. So if, I, if I'm in here, let's go into the row, the sizing toggle, and you'll see a row alignment. And I, I can't say that I've really used this a whole lot, but I can, I can see how it could be handy sometimes. So there you can see the whole thing aligned to a certain side. By default, of course, it's just center. So you have the responsive tabs here. You can do that if you need to. Okay, so that's how you align content on different devices in Divi. I hope you're finding this helpful. Let's keep going and we'll see you in the next lesson.